Fucking. Is that fucking? 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 Hey y'all, it's Quentin with the Fashion Doll. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, have I feel like I haven't given y'all a video sitting down in this spot in a minute. I've been doing my lives. Um, I guess my fashion news video. But we are back in our um usual spot here to do a fashion review. We are here to talk about a Summer House Martha's Vineyard, their reunion looks. They came out for season two. Um, I will let the girls know what I think. Um, but yes, before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't before or if you are new. I talk about fashion, design, a little plants, dolls, as I am the fashion doll. So, yes, honey, get into it and subscribe. I'm sure me talking about uh, Martha's Vineyard is bringing me some new uh, viewers. But per usual, Bravo TV has the article up with the looks, give us, gives us a little breakdown. I'm assuming that the thing was just for them to wear pink. And we're just going to get right into it. Um, and I'm going to go in the order of the article. So first we have Mr. Nicholas Nick Arrington. It does not say who he's wearing, but he has on a pink, excuse me, blazer. This almost looks like a, a tux jacket from how the lapels are. I do like the lapels. I like this shade of pink too. Um, it looks like a white shirt under it, or it could be a soft pink. I can't really tell. And then a black pocket square and then he has on black pants with a black I guess it's a loafer I think Nick looks nice I actually would have liked if he did wear a nice pair of glasses but okay if he wanted to leave him at home he looks nice um I like that the shirt is unbuttoned no tie I'm gonna address this to the straight men and the people who date or married to straight men, I want y'all to um, let the ankles go. I don't know what y'all thing is with dress pants and your ankles being out. And y'all don't do it with jeans or khakis. It's only dress pants. I wish he had on a wider leg pant and they were longer and a different shoe. And I would have really liked it. But he does look nice. I'm going to give him a cute. Not a stunning for me. Oh, and as you see, I am wearing pink. I'm wearing pink and red, though. Um, you know, I like to dress for the videos, and I love pink and red together. This is from Target's Prince Collection. If the Target near you still has some, it is now 50% off. Don't say I never told you anything. Next is Miss Jasmine Alice Cooper. It does not say who she is wearing, but she is in this soft pink mini dress. It looks like it has some little jewels or embellishments on it. And then on the sleeves, it's like, I'm going to, they're giving me ostrich or marabou feathers and a light pink. And then she did a blonde wig. And I think this is like a, I can't tell if her, her heel is like a green or if it's silver. It might be silver or sandal. This is just okay to me. When I first saw Jasmine, I thought she was Tammy Roman, which is not a bad thing. It just didn't look like her. I don't hate the blonde, but I don't love it either. And this dress is not given. It's just not given. I think the girls think, when when they think they're in charge of the girls, that it's time to start wearing blonde. Because you think you're the Beyonce of the group, a la... Uh, Mariah Huck because she thought she was Beyonce and Beyonce would not 
Why wouldn't you put your hair up? Because your hair is covering the feathers on the shoulders, and I would have thought that was the highlight of the dress. <sighs> One day y'all gonna listen to me about putting the hair up. I'm gonna give her a tacky. Sorry, Miss Jasmine. Now you're not pregnant no more, so there's no excuse. Next is Miss Jordan Emanuel. Now we do have details for her. Her outfit designer is Carolyn Zimbalist for the top. And a Jen Mosley skirt. And then she has on Schultz shoes. And Jordan tells the Daily Dish. Her reunion look inspiration was avant-garde alien Dom Barbie. Okay. Miss Jasmine, this is a fool from here to toe for me. You do have your hair up, but I still don't like it. I hate Hate, hate your hair and makeup today. The wig and the makeup could have enhanced your face even more. To if you was gonna do this top, why not a red skirt? Or if you wanted to do the color blocking, and, and that's also why I color block. Why not a skirt that matched the color of these shoes? It's like fuchsia or magenta, whatever. This is a fool. Why do you have on this like? Teary cloth fuzzy skirt. This is, or oh, if you wanted to do this skirt, why not have on the top that went with the skirt? A white poplar shirt that tied and you had your stomach out. And then you could have had on a pink heel. I, I'm just, I'm confused. This is a tacky. It's a big boot for me. No, ma'am. Next is Miss Bria Fleming. Um, we do have her details. She is in a Giovanni dress. The girls on Bravo love Giovanni because I always see that listed. And um, Aziza, Azazi shoes, not familiar. And then she said, I was going for a timeless sophistication, Bria tells the Daily Dish. This is not giving me timeless sophistication. This is giving me a housewife franchise in like 2011. This is giving me dated. I do like the color on her, and I think her hair and beauty is nice. She could have put a little pop of color on the eye, but this dress is not bringing me the chorus. Do I want to be nice and give her a cute? I'm going to be nice and give her a cute, because at least it fits nice, and I like the color. But this is dated. This is not giving me timeless at all. Next is Miss Shanice Henderson. Now, Shanice, I'm so proud of you. My nickname for you is Swimsuit because when I, I didn't watch last season, really. So when I started this season, you were always in the damn swimsuit, and that was just weighing me out. I couldn't figure out why you would never have on real clothes. And then you gave the excuse that you haven't been working. And for me, that's not an excuse to not have clothes because you didn't have clothes prior to losing your job and you came back clothes. Now you on the whole TV show. I have um, been working off and on for the past year and I still be buying clothes. So I just didn't understand. I'm a man of my business. But you came to the reunion and did what needed to be done. She is in a Nana Jacqueline dress. And she says she channeled Preppy Barbie for this reunion. It's giving Preppy Barbie. It's also giving me Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. I love this. I like the color. I like the cut. It's young. It's youthful. I like this shoe with the dress. Again, giving me the Dorothy. The half up, half down hair is cute. Her makeup is cute. It looks like she gave us a little color on the eye. I like the earring. She got on some bracelets. We got some jewelry. I have nothing to say, Miss Janice. Stunning. Shanice is actually my best dress. Uh, I'm going to just tell you now. Shanice my best dress from the reunion. And the girl tried to say she was the, the worst dress. And the girl who said it, we're going to get to you. We're going to get to you, girl. But next is my husband in my head, Mr. Amir Lancaster. Hey, boo. He is in Acne Studios shoes and the outfit as well. And Athera Jewelry. Um, what was Amir's inspiration for the day? Pink polo, 
but sexy, young, and fresh, he says. This is just fine. Amir has a nice body. I, it would have been nice for Amir to have on something where we could see his body. I'm fine with the sweater vest. How about a sweater vest that buttoned up? One that had a, a, a you know, three quarter length button or zip so we can get some chest. It's just a little too closed up for me. I also would have liked for the jeans to either they need to be him or a wider jean. I just don't like all this bunching up, but he looks fine. He's giving me high school picture day. That's what it's giving me, but he looks fine. I'm going to give him a cute. I'm not gagged. I think a brighter color pink would have been nice too. Mr. Preston Mitchell, who I normally like how Preston dresses. Um, Preston is in a St. Laurent shoe and David Gurman bracelets. It doesn't say who the outfit is by, but the hat is by Bonita Mil Millinery. Um, and then it says, inspired by Balmain Structure, we wanted a fun modern twist to the polo classic by adding an eclectic, bold, and unique style to the reunion, Preston explains. I love this color in general. Um, my first year at Afropunk, I had on a uh, here to tell hot pink number. I'll insert it in the video. And I made this was the first time I made some publications, honey. We love a here to tell hot pink look. I like the idea of this. I do think um, satin or silk suit. Is, is the hard one to pull off. I would have liked this better if he had on a loafer or a slide, like a flat shoe, and then the suit would have been giving more of a pajama kind of moment. That would have been better to me. Maybe ditch this hat. I normally like the hats, but this one looked like it's falling off or back. Maybe a bigger hat. Um, I wish we could see more what was going on with the lapels. But I do like the effort. I'm going to give him a cute, but this was not there all the way. I hate how the bottom of these pants are hanging. But if he had on the flat, I think it would have been better. But love the full hot pink. I wish some more of the guys had to took this risk with the color. Okay, we almost done, y'all. Next, next is Miss Summer Marie Thomas. We don't have any details of who she's wearing. But Summer has on this um, like hot pink bedazzled column dress. It's sleeveless and strapless. The dress is fine. I think it should have been a few inches shorter because I don't like how it is at the bottom. And then we can't see the shoe really. It looks like she has on like a nude sandal or maybe a clear sandal. And like this curly hair is cute. I would have liked more volume. Now, she is giving us color. She got a lot of blush. She just looked dry. I think lighter color hair would help her, too. This is dry to me. For her to be talking about Shanice being the worst dress, you could have showed up better. I'm going to give her a tacky, actually. I think, did I say, Preston gets a cute if I didn't say it. Next is Mr. Alex Tyree who I'm not a big fan of. I, I'm also confused why the girls be, are on this show acting a fool over Alex. And the the quote that they have for his inspiration is such a key to me because I always tell my friends, Alex gives me an old man. He gives like Marvin Gaye, but I found Marvin Gaye to be more attractive. But he is in uh, an Amiri suit. And, of course, Nike shoes and third crown jewelry. And it says, Alex's fashion vibe for the day is Teddy Pendergrass meets Summer House Martha's Vineyard. And I thought that was hilarious. Teddy. I don't even remember what Teddy Pendergrass looked like. But you give that era of a man. But not necessarily in a good way. Because I love the 70s, 60s. You just give old to me. But this is nice. I do like this suit. I guess it's a white or a cream. And then he has like a soft pink uh, flower brooch on the lapel or, or lapel pin. 
And then I think these are dunks or retro ones. They're white and pink. Cute. I like this. I like the double breasted suit jacket. I like the, the necklaces. I love the fit of these pants. And his hair looks better this time to me. He just give like pasta or something. I don't know. Does anyone else get what I'm picking? Anyone else picking up what I'm putting down? Just give an old man. And last but not least, this is my favorite person on the cast, aside from my husband, Amir, Miss Noelle Hughley. I love Noelle. Now, when I saw her, I said, ooh, this is giving me dated, too. This is giving me 2011, 10, when Kim Kardashian was out in all these Herb Legere bandage dresses and Nene. But that's what she was going for. So I said, okay, well, you achieved it. Um, she is in an Herb Legere dress, literally got her Herb Legere. Jessica Simpson shoes. I didn't even know Jessica Simpson still made shoes and clothes and bags. Um... And Noelle Channel, a 2000s bombshell victim for the reunion. She did it. She looks cute. I like the color. This is giving me more of like a lavender. It's definitely not a full pink, but it's cute. It looks nice on her body. I like the shoe. The shoe got, you know, is a little multicolored. I like the hair back and up. Her makeup looks nice. We got a little jewelry. I don't have nothing to say about Miss Noel. Miss Noel looks cute. I'm not going to give you a stunner. You look cute. But you are my favorite. Cast member, do not be crying over Alex. No more, girl. Don't do it. When her mother told her, girl, stop crying. <laughs> I agree. Not over him. Not over Teddy Pendergrass. Um, but yes, my best dress is going to be Shanice overall. For the men, I'm actually going to give Alex my best dress. Um, Nick could have got best dressed if the hem of those pants were different and he had on a different shoe. But yes, this was cute. Nice first uh, reunion. I think I'm going to cover the other Summer House reunion too because their looks just came out and they were nice as well. Um, if you haven't watched it, go watch the live I did with the Parkers this past Sunday for the finale. We will be going live. We will be going live again this Sunday for the reunion. I'm not sure if they're getting two parts or one, but we'll see. Um, but yes, go watch that live. Be on the lookout for the live that's coming up Sunday. Be on the lookout for my other Summer House video. And to catch all of those, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let me know who was your favorite, who was your least favorite, what were your thoughts in general about the reunions. Um, I want to put out a drag race video, but I think I'm just going to do that as a live because I'm not finding good quality pictures of all of the looks. And the last episode was the ball, and that's the one I really want to talk about. So I'm just going to do that as a live. So be on the lookout. I might do it tomorrow for Fashion Friday. But just be on the lookout. That's why you need to be subscribed so you can see when the dog is uploaded or, or going live. And hit the notification bell so you can make sure you see all the things. But yes, I will see y'all soon. Um, the Martha's Vineyard people, no one being y'all feelings. I like y'all. I like the show. Second season was much better. I'm looking forward to the third. Congratulations on a great season, y'all. And I will see y'all soon. Ta-ta.